Hey everybody, and welcome back to Life Group. After all of those long weekends, really praying now that we can have a good consistent stretch of meeting together. I'm sure it's good to always see each other again, connect in our homes and where we meet. So I'll come back really looking forward to this next uh, stretch of Life Groups for Term 2 and really trusting the Lord to work in our hearts, to grow us, to mature us. So um, we have started a new series on stewardship, which we'll chat about in a second. But maybe one thing just as a group that you can be aware of um, to focus on for this term. We have our Gospel Partnership Conference happening from the 23rd of June all the way to the 2nd of July. A significant moment for us as a church as we look to partner with those um, both in South Africa and internationally to disciple the nations and see the kingdom of God advance and the gospel spread. So significant time for us and we would really would like for you to take the time to pray, to register. We've set up times where we're going to be talking about the gospel-centered life and this is for everybody, not just leaders in the church. So you can pray, you can register, you'll find the link on our website and you can register for this. We'd love for you to see how you can serve in different areas um, over that week and um, where also you can maybe host some of our international guests. We'd love for you to, to do that. What a wonderful way to extend hospitality. And then also, if you can give towards it and give towards it specifically marked for gospel partnership in our um, apostolic banking account. And we really pray that we want to see more and more of us involved in these times, being enriched and equipped and also being a blessing to others. So with that in mind, um, please take note of that. Those dates go onto the website and you'll get all the other information. Um, but like we said, we started a new series on stewardship. And this is more in response to what we've been hearing in the gospel in Romans as to how would we now um, respond um, to the gospel? How would we walk in a manner that is worthy of the gospel? How would we see this gospel bear fruit in our daily lives? And so we've talked last week about time. And if you haven't... Um, uh, listen to that, go to our YouTube channel, listen to that. But there's some important things there that we need to consider together about how we are using the time. We are called to make the best use of time that God has given to us. There should be time for God. There should be time for family. There should be time for church. There should be time for work, time for recreation, rest, all of these different things. And I pray that you would take that to the Lord and practically see, are you making the best use of the time that God has entrusted to you? Are you focusing on things that will matter into eternity. But for today's discussion, you would have heard that we're talking about how do we steward the gifts that God has given us. In other words, what do we do with the spiritual gifts that God has given every single believer? And uh, with that in mind, I'd like for you to take this time maybe to um, pause this video and read 1 Peter 4 verses 8 to 10. That's 1 Peter 4 verses 8 to 10. So why don't you pause the video and read this together. Awesome. Now that you've read it um, and if you've listened to the sermon, you would have known that we have seen from this that um, every believer has been given at least one spiritual gift by God. Um, and we can identify what these gifts are. One of the main ways of identifying these gifts is within the community, within the church, even in the context of life groups, as you walk closely with people, these things become more and more evident. And also it's one of the places where you could start using it. Then we also saw that we are called or more so we have a duty to serve others in the church with the gifts that have been given to us. And we are called to develop these gifts. So these gifts are not meant just for us, but they to serve others in the church to see them grow and mature in Christ. And we do that by God's grace. We do that by the strength that he supplies. And we do that for the glory of God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So that's the, the summary of what we chatted about. And I pray that that would spark something in your heart. But here are five questions that you can go through as a group together. And uh, I'm going to just read out the five questions. And then you can go through them one by one um, and interact around this. Uh, thinking through what you would have heard in the sermon. Like we said, this is not a re-preach of the sermon, but this is thinking about what we can do practically to respond to what we've heard. So here are the questions that we'd love for you to discuss in life groups and uh, to see how you can put into practice what you've heard. So the first question is, do you know the gifts God has given you by His grace? Do you know the gifts that God has given you by His grace? 
Secondly, what have you done with the gifts that God has given you? Third, who have you helped along the way with those gifts? Fourth, is our church better and stronger because you are here and using your gifts? And lastly, are you wasting God's gift or are you using it for his glory? So if you can go through those five questions together one by one and we move around the group and if there's still people that are wanting to identify their gifts, then we can maybe chat around what that looks like. But if you can talk through that, maybe spark something because we are trusting that we would be a body that has different people by God's grace using the gifts that is given to them and distributing that grace in its multifaceted various forms to one another in the church that God's grace will be on display People will mature and grow because every one of us is using our gifts. And if we're not using our spiritual gifts, then the church is at a disadvantage. So I pray that the discussions will be fruitful in this. And from here, if maybe you have more questions, you're welcome to chat some of the elders to help you regarding the gifts and what are good ways that we can put them into practice in, 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 at North Point, especially within the context of relationships and accountability. This is important. So I pray that this would spark in many of our hearts to use the gifts, whether they're seen or unseen, that God has given us for the strengthening of others and for the glory of Jesus. God bless you. And we really pray that your discussions are fruitful.